kind of like the main topics uh, of this week are really uh, Canelo asking for 150 to 200 mil to fight David Benavides. Your thoughts on him naming the price? And then I got another question to double up on that. When everybody else go high, they say they price their stuff out on purpose, you know? Okay. That's all I can say. <laughs> I believe, uh, you know, his highest guarantee is probably what, like 55 mil or something like that? Yeah. But that's just the guarantee. Um, you know, now you're saying that he's outpricing himself now going into a back into an interview of david benavides's promoter samson liquish is saying that canelo Alvarez is a great businessman and he knows what he's doing he has a great team behind him he does see that he can get the the, the he can see 150 mil he can't see 200 mil though he can see 150 mil happen and it's going to take upon six months to make the fight happen because of the promotion that it, that it, that it entails. Yeah, I can see that, you know. It's just like you going into a suitcase, ask for more so you can get what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Coach, you tell me, just off of stuff like that, hearing stuff like that, those type of demands, right? Nobody's making those type of demands. How can you say that this man is not the face of boxing? when he has high pay-per-view numbers and he's asking for demands like that. He just lost two fucking fights. <laughs> and then his previous fights were former welterweights at the end of the rope, mid car. Guys, that he was bigger, stronger than they was at the end of their career. He not, come on, man. He can only fool casual fans with that shit. Okay. You know? Okay. You can only fool casual fans with that shit. <laughs> My God, my God, Kenny. That he did when it was controversial, you know? I keep it 100. No offense to nobody, but that's just facts. Now, let, let, let's do something here. Let's do something here. Let's come with an agreement here. Like, all right, say if Canelo, right, on May 4th does more pay-per-view numbers with Moon Gear, then and what tank does june 15th you tell me are you changing your like are we are we I can't saying even, different things or no i can't even imagine that i gotta cross that bridge <laughs> cross that bridge when i get to it yo so remember this one cross that bridge when i get to it and even if he doesn't, we're obviously going to compare because I know that the media, you guys, those, those are the two top sellers, you know, uh, among like, you know, Anthony Joshua and stuff right. like that and Tyson Fury. Right. But like, you, this is the, the big guys, you know, this is when we talk about sales and stuff like that. We can't talk about like the Haney's, the Teals, because they're not in that right. category, you know. Um, so, yeah, we will cross that bridge when we get there, like you said. <laughs> cross that bridge um, when we get to it. So, but do you, do you think that, what's your thoughts on that? Like, do you think that that's just overpricing himself? Do you feel like yeah. just 150? Yo, I, how about if he just gets it? Fuck if he loses the fight. I would right? love I would love to see him get that money just so, just so Benavidez can get the damn fight. That, that, and then go you know that. Saudi, go to Saudi, get that money, but put that. Put Benavidez in that damn ring with him. Let him walk off in the sunset. Get that shit out of the way. So stop holding up traffic. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> give. Mm. If he can get the 200 million, give it to him. But make sure Benavidez is across that ring. Uh, as far as you know, the the lightweight heavy. I guess that the Saudis were speaking upon. You know trying to make that fight happen they i guess turkey came out today alashik said you know we would rather see david benavidez fight the winner of bevo and better beef and we would pay for that so it seems like you know david gonna get the bag anyway yeah but you still, know the, again the fan get the fans what they want they want to see benavidez and canelo mm -hmm. they want to see that fight but um, 
nevertheless getting into um as far as what james tony said um you know and you know james tony is a big tank fan i i, I show you guys i always send you the interviews when he's talking about tank always on your inbox and then calvin's but um he thinks that that fight with the light heavyweights um he believes that uh that's like a Hagler Hearns type of a fight trilogy. What do you think? With, with, with um, Bivol? Bivol and Better Beef, they're going to do them. That's a rematch clause as well in that yeah. fight. Yeah. That, that first round will be blazing. Mm. But I, I got Bivol winning. You got Bivol winning. Yeah. 